projects. In this video, I will show you how to design a form and also add validation logic to it. As when I click the calculate button, and if these are empty, so you will get uh, this message. And also on clear, all text fields will be cleared. For example, I have added text, and now when I press the clear button, these text fields will be cleared. And if there is no problem, marks are available. And we press the calculate, then the result will be shown as to obtain marks, percentage, and grade. So let's get started. Okay, so I have created a blank project and uh, I will start the design of the project. I will remove the unnecessary code and here I will write my own widget. So in the lib directory, I will create a new Dart file and name it as DMC. In this file, I will create a state full widget first I will import the material package and then I will create a state full widget DMC and in the container I will take a scaffold and we will place an app bar And the title will be the text and that will be DMC. And for the body, I will place a place holder for now. So in the main.dart file, I will include the DMC. DMC. And it will also import that package. And now I will save the project. So in the app bar we have got DMC and in the body we have got a placeholder. Now we will implement the form here. So instead of placeholder, I will place a form. And its child will be a single child scroll view. If the contents are more so that we can scroll and the content all the content is visible. The child of the single child scroll view will be a column and column will have children and the first children will be a text form field. So text form field. First I will set its keyboard type to text input type dot number is we will take numbers from the user then it has the decoration property and we will apply input decoration so i will place a hint text and i will write the subject name also i will place the label text english <coughs> marks then we need to have some border so i will place outline input border and the border radius will be border radius dot circular and that will be it so now when i save this so i have got a text field here but as you can see it is very close to the edges so I will wrap this form in padding so alt enter wrap with widget and I will wrap it with padding and here the padding is 8 now I will again save this and now we have got some space we also need to place a validator here but that will that I will add later I will place a sized box after it to have some space with the uh, with the next text form field. Sized. Oh, 
I have written it inside the so I should remove it from here and place it after the text form field now I will copy this text field for four more times So now I will change the hint and label text. Now I need two buttons, so I will take a row and place two elevated buttons in it. So row will have children and the first children will be a elevated button. Its child will be text and the text will be clear. So here is the clear button and we also need another button for calculate. This will be calculate. So I need space between these two buttons. I will place a sized box with a width of 16. This will place some gap between them. So now I want that these buttons occupy the remaining space equally. So I will place these buttons in expanded widget. Rev with widget and expand it. Similarly, I will place this button 2 in expanded. Now when I will save it, we will see this G, these two buttons will take equal space. Now I want to change the color of this clear button. For this we will use its style property and the style will be elevated button dot style from and here I will mention the primary color as red. Oh, I have written this code inside expanded I should write it inside the elevated button so you can see the clear button has a background color of red now we will implement the on pressed functionality later but for now we need three more text below the row so I will place a sized box with a height of 16 and then I will place text with a text of obtained marks. Then another sized box with a height of let's suppose 16 then another text with text percentage another sized box with height of 16 and another text with text grade so this should be height Now when I save this, it will not reload and we will see three text. But they are appearing in the center, I want them to be aligned to the left. So we have to set the, the cross axis alignment of the column. 
cross axis alignment and cross axis alignment dot start so it will fix their position now we will implement the on press of the calculate and clear button on uh, the press of calculate we will take the text of all these uh, text form fields and add them and calculate percentage and grade as well but for form validation we need a global key so for that i will initialize a key here variable form key global key of type form state and we will assign this form key to our form so here is the form i will write key and the key will be form key this key will help us to get the state of the form and we can add the validation logic then we can also reset the form with the help of this key also we need some more variables to hold the marks english physics math science and geography we also need some more variables for holding the results like obtained marks for now i will initialize it with empty string variable percentage and variable and grade that will also be blank for now And I will place these variables in the text fields. So when the so I will place it dollar of ten marks and dollar percentage and dollar grade. Now in order to place the validation logic we will place a validator for each text form field so i will write a validator here this will take a method and will receive the text so i will check if the text that is empty if the text is empty we will return a string message saying that please provide marks else we will assign this text to the integer variables like we have english here but we need to trans uh, convert this text to integer so english is equal to int dot parse text but here i have I am already sure that text is not empty and from here we will return null so we need to place validator in all the text form field so I will simply copy this validator and place it in the respective text form fields and I need to change this variable here this is for physics so I will place physics here and this is for math so I will place math here and this is for science so I will write science here and place geography so now when the calculate button is pressed this is the on pressed event of the calculate button so what I will check that if the form is validated if form key dot current state dot validate so it will return true if the form is validated means the uh, 
all the fields are filled all the text form fields are filled only then it will return true so i am making sure that all the fields are filled and it will automatically display the uh, error message if the text form fields are if any of the text form field is empty so what i need to do is i have to add all the numbers from these text form fields and assign it to obtained marks so integer obtained marks is equal to english plus physics plus math plus science and plus geography and for percentage i will take it in double percentage is equal to obtained multiply by 100 divided by 500 and for grade we need to write some if statements if percentage is greater than equal to 80 so i will assign grade a else if percentage is greater than 70 i will assign grade uh, let's suppose this should be a one and this should be a else if percentage is greater than equal to 60 so grade will be b else if percentage is greater than equal to 40 grade will be c else grade will be fail <clears throat> so now i have to call set state and obtained marks is equal to now i have to convert this integer variable to string so obt dot to string and also this percentage dot to string and grade is already in string so now when i execute the project and text form fields are empty if now i press calculate so it will show these messages please provide marks so I need to provide marks so these three are left when all the marks are available and I press calculate so I will see the result here Now for clear, what I will do, I will reset all these, uh, this complete form. So for reset, this is the on pressed of the, let me format the code. So this is the on pressed of the clear button. For this, I will do form key dot current state dot reset it will reset the complete form also i need to empty these variables so now when i save it and i hit the clear button so this form will be reset and also these variables 300 and we will not be shown anymore so I forgot to call set state here so you can see that the variables are now reset with empty strings so here you learned how to design a form and how to validate it if you have any questions you can ask in the comment sections and the code will be posted uh, on my github and i will share the link in the description of this video thank you